Hi everyone and thanks so much for joining me for this next video. Today is Saturday and it's cleaning day. I was out here cleaning the shop, getting things organized and I thought why not do a little shop tour and show everybody you know what my little space looks like. Now if you've been here on the channel for a while you've seen me work in different areas of the shop primarily right here at the lathe or over at the bandsaw or on the drill press whatever but I wanted to just kind of give you a quick snapshot or an overview of the whole shop and uh, yeah and share that with you so since it's clean right now is a good time to do that so stick around we're going to jump into this little shop tour right now well I thought the best place for us to start this little tour is right here where the wood comes into the shop and this is my wood storage and as you can see um, I have this shelving unit and I do have a video on this whenever I actually put this together I'll put the link for this up in the uh, top left hand corner here for you if you want to check that out but this shelving unit really comes in handy I've got all of my wood organized to a point where I can actually um, you know just come over here to glance and pick out whatever type of wood that I want to work with so I've got like hickory and white oak and walnut and of course I've got some other stuff I've got beech up here uh, I've got some spalted maple up here. Um, there's some maple down here, but I ended up running out of room. And then, of course, I've got some more beech down here, and there's cherry, there's sassafras down here. And, of course, I've got some things sitting here on the floor. But this basically gets everything organized so that I can work, um, you know, with this wood easily, and I'm not having to try to search for something. Okay, so I want to show you this little bench area because this is where I sharpen my tools. Uh, with a Rikon low speed 8 inch bench grinder and I'm using the one way system um, really good system to use to be able to sharpen all your tools now there is a drill press on this bench but I'm going to be getting rid of it because I don't need it anymore uh, I'm going to actually take it over to my barn and, uh, and store it so down here below you can see that there is some storage down here I have some maple slabs that I use for different things um, underneath of this so this is a really important station. I use this every single day. Whenever I turn, um, I'm probably sharpening at least twice uh, during a turning, and this is the area that I use for that. Okay, so this is the me mechanical section of my workbench. And as you can see, I have all of my drills and chargers. I have all of my drill bits and Forstner bits. Um, I have all my nuts and bolts and screws and washers and fasteners and so on and so forth, tape and so on, all of my measuring devices, everything uh, mechanical wise is over on this side of the shop. Now, of course, down here is a little sharpening station for my carbide uh, tools that I use. So moving down the workbench a little bit further, um, you'll take notice that this is an area that I use a lot here in the shop. Um, of course, I've got all of my paper towels up here, you know, my trend air shields here charging. I've got, you know, my uh, moisture meter and my scale. This, this is an area that I use a lot. This um, little arm that's up here is where I'll put my camera in here and actually, you know, uh, shoot straight down on something. And what I've done is incorporate these types of little arms in different places of the shop so that I can film different things. And of course, up here at the top, it's organized with all my glues, my finishes, uh, some light sandpaper. You know, uh, I've got regular wood glue down there. And then, of course, my two inch sanding disc. And then all of my um, right back here are different types of carving tools that I use uh, for different applications. And yeah, this area of the bench is used a lot. Um, in fact, I use it every single day. All right, so this little corner of the shop is the most used area of my shop. I use it every single day um, for different parts of my turning. And we'll start here with this little shelf. I built this originally for my turning tools. And um, yeah, and it just ended up being such a hassle. So I ended up building another uh, rack, which you've seen in other videos. But we'll look, take a look at that shortly. And then of course my lathe, this is the little Jet 1221. I will keep this little Jet no matter uh, what type of lathe I end up getting in the future. Uh, this little thing comes in handy for lots of different types of projects. And as you've seen right now with all of the projects that I'm doing, 
This is the lathe we're using, and you've seen it in every single video. Now up here, this little shelf basically holds a lot of different things. It has my chucks, it has my face plates, you know, my different face plates that I use. It has my carving stand that I use on a regular basis, um, a little jam chuck that I use on a regular basis. It has my Master Carver Pro sets up here so I can plug it in and of course be able to, you know, to use it. Uh, yeah, there's lots of different things up here. Um, I have my Jackery up here. Uh, I use that for a couple of different things to charge stuff and, and different things so that I don't have to worry about using up, you know, other plug space. So yeah, here's another one of those little mounts. Um, this is how I film, you know, with uh, right here at the lathe. So a lot of the different angles that you see, you know, um, from the, or in the videos are done with this little mount. My camera just fits right inside of there and it works really well. So at any rate, the lighting that I'm using in here are all LED lights. They're, they're four foot, um, you know, hanging lights and, and they produce a tremendous amount of light. Um, which, you know, do two things. One, for the videos, and two, obviously, for safety. We want to have plenty of light when we're turning. So I wanted to just real quickly show you this little stand that I made. It's on casters, and I can move it around. So when I'm over at the lathe, I can pretty much put this thing anywhere I want. I do have a video for this, um, and it is getting a little loose. I probably need to <laughs> put a couple more screws into it, but it, it works really good. I've got my carbides down here. Um, you know, from my hollowing tool, you know, my finish or the uh, detail tool. I've got a 90 degree, um, you know, roughing tool. I've got a finisher and then, of course, my carbide rougher. And I use these tools a lot, but I also use my Carter & Sons uh, 5 8 inch bowl gouge and negative ray scraper a lot also. So these are the tools that stay in this. And then I've got a few other things laying down here on the bottom and I just roll this thing around we're basically wherever I want it and it makes it very very conven uh, convenient but you know obviously having a concrete floor makes a huge difference all right so these are two areas of the shop that I use considerably um, one is my Rikon it is a 14 inch the model number on it is a 10324 TG so it's a 14 inch bandsaw and it works fantastic. I absolutely love it. And then of course my Delta 16 and a half inch drill press. And the thing um, that I wanted to do with this drill press is to be able to put my coin, which I have here, there's a whole little box of them, um, to put my coins into the bottom of my pieces that I'm able to do that with. And one of the problems I was having with the other drill press is it wasn't uh, big enough to do the larger pieces. So this one I can raise this up and down and I've got plenty of room to be able to drill the one and a half inch hole that I need uh, to place my coin in. So these two items here really get a lot of use. Okay, so I just want to show you this little contraption, I guess you could say that I built. It's This is a little comfort zone heater and I've got it up on the highest level right now so you can see how it glows. And it puts out a, a tremendous amount of heat. Now, when I say this is like a little zone heater, I, I, I've got this on caster, so I can move this thing around pretty much anywhere in the shop. And like if I'm at the lathe and it's really cold out here, I can bring this over and it keeps it nice and warm in that particular area. I can move it to the drill press or the bandsaw or over at the, you know, the bench. And if I'm working on the bench, if I'm carving something or etching something for you know a long period of time and it's cold out here, I can pull it over there. So that's kind of the idea. This thing's supposed to be mounted to the ceiling, but I opted to do it this way just so that I could make it mobile and it works fantastic. So I'll put links to all this down in the description. Fortunately for me, I have a concrete floor and plenty of open floor space, so I can move this thing around pretty much anywhere I need it. Okay, so right here, uh, you'll see my DeWalt planer and my little Craftsman table saw. These are all on wheels, so I can move these things around anywhere I want them. Um, basically what I do when I need something, you know, when I need to use these particular tools, I just roll them over here in the shop, use them, and then put them back over here and kind of store them here uh, so that they're out of the way. Really pretty simple. 
you know, like I said, you know, one of these days I'm going to have a dedicated shop when I build my new house. And um, of course, I'll be upgrading, you know, some other tools that uh, like the table saw. So this is what I'm using for right now. Okay, so this little area here is where I take the pictures of all of the uh, finished pieces that I use. And I just lay them on this little white background and, you know, photograph them right here. And then, of course, I take them into, you know, my office and, and edit the pictures before I put them into the video. But this is a really simple little setup. It's just got a white background um, on, a, you know, two light stands and it's got a bar that goes across. And of course, I can roll out the paper. You can see here I'm at the end of the roll here, so I need to replace it. But, um, but yeah, this is really good. Um, I just set my piece on there and take a picture of it. Pretty simple. Okay, so this is my kiln number one and kiln number two. Uh, of course, right here in the middle, I have my little, uh, I, got, I call it a command station. It basically gives me uh, an opportunity to look at the temperature of each kiln at a snapshot just when I'm walking by. Um, yeah, so the kilns are here and there's a few things in here right now. There's not very many in there right now. Um, in fact, I need to turn on the dehumidifier. And then down here is the second kiln and the same thing with that. Yeah, I can turn it on. And I've got a couple things in here um, that are in the process of going through the drying, you know, the drying process. So yeah, here's my kiln station over here on this side um, of the garage. Of course, this garage is a two car garage and these things are just kind of tucked against this wall and out of the way. So I want to show you this screen that I have hung up and it goes all the way the length of the bay and you can see here it's just like a black screen. I really like this because it helps keep uh, the dust off of the car and out of this area of the garage. Now it works. I mean it definitely keeps the dust down. Let me go in here and show you how it's connected. You can look right up here and you can see that it's connected right up here with Velcro and you know one part connects to the wall and then the velcro just velcros on it and you can see it comes all the way down yeah so it works really good and it keeps the dust off of that other car and out of that other bay very well all right so up here in the ceiling i have my win w-e-n l for air filtration system now it's remote controlled it's three speed and you can see right up here um, you know the different settings that you can have on it and that's all done with remote that I have over here on the workbench I'm not going to go into a review on this thing in fact I believe I did review this in another video but it is a great system it works really well uh, you can see here it's got a filter on the back and what this does is get rid of all that really finite dust that's floating around the air when you're working so here's just a little pan of what the shop looks like in an entirety. It's not huge, but it's not super small either. Okay, so that's my little shop tour and I hope you enjoyed the tour. And uh, I'd love to hear your feedback. If you could go down into the comments and give me some feedback and tell me about your shop. You know, how big is your shop? Do you have something that's similar to this? You know, I really enjoy working in this space. Um, it works out really well. And of course, as you can see in all the videos that we're doing, um, you know, I have all the equipment that I need to be able to produce the projects that we're doing. So I'm very happy about that. But hey, if you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you here. Please consider subscribing to the channel. And please don't forget to hit that like button. That's going to help the channel out a whole lot. So with that said, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.